So it's Scorpio season, and my birthday just passed on November 14. Ah, yeah, not another birthday. I usually drop a thank you video the day after my birthday. It's a week later, so I apologize. Things have been crazy. Let me show you what's been going on. I gotta say that this whole year, I kept saying, man, I'm living such a shitty life right now. And truthfully, hella ashamed of my lifestyle and where I've been and this and that. And every single morning that I would wake up, I would ask myself, what the hell am I gonna do? And that same question would be repeated like 10 times a day between me and my roommate, my main man, my cousin, Raymond. What are we gonna do? And now looking back, this is what we did. Me and him personally worked on, I don't know, like 20 photo shoots, which was sick. I worked on a lot of film gigs. Even though we're on strike and no one's working, somehow, some way, I managed to survive this tough ass year. I went to Mexico for a family reunion, came home, and then my friend calls me that he needs my help in Cabo San Lucas, Mexico. And a week later, I fly back to Mexico and drive 2,000 miles with him back to Los Angeles. Then I got to spend like two months in Guatemala. I was working on a documentary that I've been banging my head against the wall for many years now, but I feel like I got what I needed. And then I got to recharge my batteries in the most beautiful lake on the planet, Lake Atitlan. After that trip, I decided that I needed to leave LA. So I spent the next three months figuring out how the hell I was gonna do this and where the hell I was gonna go. So yeah, I just kind of like hated my life this whole year. And then now that I was making this video, I was just kind of seeing all this debauchery and parties and crazy lifestyle that, <laughs> that I found myself living. So I was ashamed about all this, not gonna lie. But you know what? I just went with the ride, went with the flow. And in the process, I got to meet a whole new set of people that I consider my family now, and I'm grateful for it. It's funny because I was complaining about my life to my friend Kate, and she was just like, that you're partying with cool people and doing drugs and the most like exclusive and underground parties in LA. She was like, you're living my dream, shut the fuck up. And that changed my perspective a little bit. Sorry, mom, if you're listening to this. Oh, and a quick sidebar. I always thank the first person that posts on my Facebook wall and the last person on the day of my birthday. So thank you very much, Mr. Keith Millward, all the way from Wales, United Kingdom. Much love. And the last post at the time of recording was my Tia Carolina from LA. I was trying to sell my car and she found a buyer for me and I made a profit. Muchas gracias, Tia. So another year around the sun. And after a few years of constantly asking on the daily, what are we gonna do? I finally figured out that I need to leave LA. <laughs> so I packed my bags a couple weeks ago. I left my apartment. I'm very sad about it. I'm gonna miss everyone there. And I hope to return, but I just need to return on my own terms. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching my trashy life. <laughs> we always don't get what we want in this life. And I have lived a very unconventional life. Going against the grain always makes you second guess yourself like you're doing the wrong thing at every turn. And I need to stop doing that because my life is full of blessings. Even though I get caught up in the fray, I need to be more grateful for what I do have because as you can see, your boy's been around. And then look, I just landed in London. I have no idea what's in store for me here. I don't have any more clarity than I did yesterday. But if I figure it out, you'll be the first to know. Wishing you the best in 2025. We will make it. We will make it. Love you guys.